Hey Dave! One of the first light bulbs I embrace regarding the degree of introversion and extroversion is the idea about how it either fuels us or drains us. I think I'm more introverted than extroverted, but it doesn't always appear so. As we said, people are layered, so let me tell you some stories that illustrate my thoughts on this. I've been in youth leadership with the CTSO New York State FCCLA for about 11 years now and traveled to a dozen state conferences and a couple national conferences. One thing I look forward to and notice every single year at the state conference banquet is people at the dance. At my first couple conferences at the end of middle school, I got out there and had fun and danced as a guest. I made friends. As the years progressed, I more saw it as an opportunity to see others and also be seen by others. An occasion to create celebration. Creating the conference changed my perspective a bit. I served others by creating the experience for them. And now I honestly enjoy it more as a guest than I did before because I know about the work that goes into I think what happened is I now enjoy being a host. I didn't see as much value in being one. After ninth grade and going through that experience, I soon jumped at chances to do more. Singing choral and jazz music, hosting kids TV shows, creating conferences with FCCLA, photography, YouTube communities, and traveling to conferences. These all happened to me after how much I realized that creating an extrovert or introverted experience is being a good host. I've more enjoyed doing introverted but also extroverted activities for myself and others and then refueling with introversion. The same care and attention I use for myself in solitude is similar to how I can be a caring host and also be a guest when it's time for me to be seen instead of in charge. I think the core difference between introversion and extroversion is centered around the want to be a host and a guest for ourselves and other people. Introversion for me is like hosting my own solitude, like journaling time or going for a walk, or actually being the guest of some sort of created calm experience that I get to join. Extroversion for me is being the host, the impresario for the shore that's in front or behind the scenes. Putting on a show, but also being a guest to the exciting experiences that are provided to me. Maybe we all begin being hosts and serving ourselves well, and then we reach out to others once that's stable. Youth leadership helped me step into being a host more, to go out of my way to help others, to initiate, connect, provide, and direct. And as a guest, it made me realize that experiences that I have are often made from factors that are not in my control. For collaborative trips, you get to be the host and the guest for yourself and for others, instead of only a host for yourself in the solo trip and a guest for what you experience when you travel. And that's why I think extroverted trips are cooler, unforgettable, and more full of possibility even if I completely default to solitude. Dave, I think I'd rather have a few people on a trip in which I get to experience being both deeply host and guest instead of too many people. To turn it back to you, Dave, my question for you is how do you think being a host and guest applies to being extroverted and introverted to certain degrees? Do you have a really good story in mind that sort of solidified your core thoughts on this? I definitely incline toward being a guest and host for myself but I'll definitely continue to stretch myself and how I matter as a host to people in my life. Until I see you Thursday, Dave, have a great Dave.